What's up guys, Jakob AA here coming at you from a planet near you, bringing you some Minecraft Let's Play action, playing in survival mode, you know, gotta survive, you know, the basic wilderness, you know, I'm crash landed in the middle of nowhere, and you know what I've gotta do, I've gotta survive, and I've gotta learn, I've gotta teach myself how to, when, you know, setting up like a secret base to hopefully get to the next step of the invasion. Now, of course, we're going to start off right here. We're going to load up the game, load it up here, and now we are in. And yeah, you know what? It's a good start. You know, I hopefully look at the. Oh, you have got to be kidding me! What I'm going to do here is you want to go and chop down some trees. What we're going to try to do is we're going to make a house to hopefully survive the first couple of nights of this adventure that we, I assume we have. So yeah, right now we're going to go and chop this tree down right here. What you want to do next is find a big open area and then make a crafting table. This will then allow you to make wooden planks and then hopefully that will make the foundations, or in this case the walls, of your house. Then what you want to do with the pre-made planks is you want to lay them down and hopefully get started on the creation of your house. Then realize you don't have enough wooden planks to actually finish it off, so you've got to go cut down another tree. After those five seconds of frustration, go back to building your house. Then realize you built your house in such a way that's like an idiot, now you have to build two doors for your front entrance. Now calmly go back to making your house, creating your second layer of- Can this tree just get out of my face? All I want to do is just make a house and survive. That's it. That's it. That's all I want. Once you're done creating the second layer of the house, you now need to create the third. This third layer will then go over the doorway and then... Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay, so let's just forget about this real quick. Then you want to release your anger by chopping down more trees and getting more planks. Ooh, an apple. Finally finish that third and final layer of the house. Wow, it's the middle of the day, I don't even have a door or a roof. Finally, finish off the roof of the house. Make sure to make it one layer above so it's not all cramped in there. Chop down even more wood. Make more planks. Finish the roof. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make a very basic house just before nightfall. Oh, wait. You think we're done? Oh, no, 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 no. See, we've got to survive the first night now. Move the crafting table. Craft two doors. Place two doors. Make a chest. Place a chest. Immediately store all your junk in the chest. Leave your house and look over the horizon to find another island. And see on the other there are two cows. Yeah. Two cows. As the moon rises, I soon realized that I needed a bed. So I had to then go into the chest, get some resources, and then get ready to make both a spade and a pickaxe to buy myself out of the top of this hill. Continue to mine down through to the darkness where you'll find... Well, okay. Here's the issue with that. So basically the brightness setting on this was like so low that, yeah, you, as you can see, you can see the HUDs, but you can't see anything else. So we're gonna go and try, skip to some parts where it's a lot lighter. But when I found the light, oh boy, it wasn't pleasant. A SPA! So yeah, as you can clearly see here, I did not want to die immediately. So I was being very cautious. And as you can see, I do have the wooden sword but unfortunately, yeah, I wasn't going to chance it, and I just didn't have the courage to do it, unfortunately. So then I cowered back to my house like a child, trying to figure out how the hell am I supposed to do any of this. Then I looked over the side of the hill. Okay. So to get over the fact that there's murderers on this island, I've then decided to level the ground outside so I can hopefully use this uh, spare space as something that I can hopefully use for, say, a farm or hopefully something that I could use in the future. That's until your spade breaks. Then you have to go make a new one, of course. Okay, so if you're still following by this point, what I've done here is I've pretty much made an area so I know where the mine is, obviously, so I don't step through it or anything. Also, there was a hole in the ground, which was basically looking straight through into what felt like the abyss, so yeah, quickly plugged that up. 
And while we're at it, why not deforest the entire top of this hill? Then using the wood that you've just got, you can now make wooden planks, then make a new wooden floor for your house. Then we actually put down the exact wrong planks, and now all we've got to do is you've got to do this whole thing all over again. Finish putting down the rest of the wooden planks on the floor. How do I not have enough planks for this? Okay, this clearly isn't working right. I need to, I need to get, I need to get, I need to get some air. I need to relax. I need to chill. I need to. Wait, is that, is that turtle? Anyway, I went back to the mine to try find some more resources, which was fun, seeing as most of the time it was entirely black and I couldn't really see anything. However, realizing that I couldn't exactly mine this hill further and that I couldn't really stay on top of it, I decided to do something plucked up the courage and decided to finally confront the spider that was underneath the hill. And so with wooden sword in hand, I decided to finally confront the beast. Actually come to think of it, it was pretty easy. Literally you had to hit the spider like three times and then it fell and died. So guess the worry was for nothing. So I then decided to keep mining down through the hill, hopefully to find an alternative way to hopefully get down. And it just saves me having to like, you know, take a dangerous way down to the side of the hill. But lo and behold, I was greeted with even more danger. As you can see, the main threat was of course the zombie villager in front of us, but then lurking. If you can just about see him on the left, we have the main mob, the creeper. Seeing this, I knew I had to act. So I came up with a simple plan. Take out the villager in front of me and then move out to hopefully take on the creeper one-on-one. -on -one. After defeating the villager, I moved straight into the middle of the island to then turn and then face the creeper one on one. After the confrontation, I went straight back into the hill trying to mine any resources I can find from inside the hill. Unfortunately, it was so dark, I literally couldn't see anything. So I tried going into the settings and trying to make it brighter in the brightness levels. Unfortunately, this basically did nothing. So basically we're just going in blind. However, on the plus side, we did find a lot of coal, which is, I guess, a positive for making torches, helping cook things, and just overall helping with our survival. Two sheeps on the island, one white one and one black one. This black one, well, I really needed a bed, and I was looking at my wooden sword, and I just really- I just wanted to know this thing, just so I can get some sort of- So something that I can just create a bed out of. Unfortunately, realising that there might be a complete waste of, well, resources, complete waste of hopefully making more animals, I decided to spare it for now. I also found this little cave under the island, which actually looks pretty good to discover later. Right now, I don't really have a proper pickaxe or anything, so again, definitely something for later. After going up the mountain, I soon realised that there was another person here, or in this case, a creature. This creature being a little white sheep that I found earlier. Yeah, this one actually didn't leave the island, which is pretty cute. So after thinking about it for a while, I decided to name the sheep Luna, mainly because the wall was absolutely white and I feel like, you know, it was just a more appropriate thing to do. Then I decided to finally make some torches to hopefully light up the mining areas. Then I went straight back to mining, hopefully to probably find some more resources. However, we've been mining for a while and the only thing I could really find was coal and gravel and, well, coal stone that we were digging up, so not really as successful as I wanted it to be. I then went back underneath the hill to hopefully mine the rest of the coal that I found earlier. However, realizing I had the necessary tools to do so, I finally decided to crack down on the mine that was underneath the hill. Yeah, this zombie wasn't in any trouble at all, really. However, looking inside the mine, I soon realized that really there was nothing there. Only a little bit of coal, which I ended up mining. But still, there was like nothing at all. So yeah, complete waste of time. But still, at least it was good for a start point to actually start mining down like below ground level. I then left the mine and realizing that it was nighttime, I decided to go back up to my house. Going back up to the house, I was soon greeted by Luna, who, just like me, was also scared of the dark. So as we shared an embrace and as I, well, ate an apple, I decided to then work through the night to hopefully look out for Luna whilst I also completed the rest of my tasks. So I then created a furnace. I also made a hoe. That way I can hopefully make some wheat for us to survive. However, I couldn't help but look over that island again. Oh, 
After then realising that I'm probably going to get nightmares for the entire night, I decide to then go seed hunting, which will hopefully allow me to have enough seeds to hopefully start this farm as soon as it's built, of course. Now I've only got two seeds, I hit like a billion different types of... Okay, three. Three... I can, I can, I can deal with free. Then create and place some fences to hopefully get started on your farm. Continue to deforest. Then all of a sudden Luna decided she was brave and decided to climb down the hill before climbing back up. And then vanishing out of thin air. I then made some fence panels and fish off the wheat farm. Until I realised the farm would be impossibly skinny and then had to redo the whole thing. After redoing the farm, the only thing I really needed was the fence gate. So after realising I couldn't cook rotten flesh, I then made and then placed the fence gate. Then finally after Luna decided to come up and say hello, I soon realised me and her weren't the only ones on the top of this hill. Ooh, an apple. It seemed Luna brought a friend. A friend who, of course, we have seen before. Although it seemed adamant that this one also wanted to stay. So after doing some research, I decided to call this one Donovan. Meaning dark-haired chief. I'm pretty sure showing his bravery after being down there for so long, he definitely deserves that name. Anyway, I went back to chopping down even more trees before then making my little farm an even bigger farm. I mean, you would do if you knew how to put down a flipping fence properly. So by undoing that mistake and hopefully making the farm bigger, I then decided to... You know what, I'm not even bothered by this point, I'm, I'm really not. I then completed the wheat farm and then added a little torch for like a nice cute little touch. Luna then wanted to have a look so I gave her probably the quickest tour known to man. And then I went back to mining of which I collected nothing of value. Like I seriously went down into a spiral in order of hopes of finding something but again, a complete waste of time. Anyway, I came up from mining to hopefully get a thumbnail with Donovan and Luna. Unfortunately they both couldn't stay in the same place so I decided to just end the video there. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, again this has been a quite a strange roller coaster if you guys want to see more please make sure to comment and like the video also make sure to subscribe for more Jakob AA content and again representing the alien race this is Jakob AA hoping you have had a good day